guys. Hope you're enjoying your weekend or this week going into your weekend. Hey, I just wanted to speak on the new unveiling of the new Mustang 2024, the S650 variant. And um, a lot of people had a lot of good things to say about it. It was something that brought up other things and issues that they saw. And like, oh, Ford didn't do this or Ford didn't do that. Why wouldn't they? You know, type of little problems. But so far, here's my take. For what I'm saying, yeah, you may have to get used to the taillights and different other things that's on this variant of the, the S650. I'm sure Ford, by the time this car is ready to be produced sometime next year, to hit the market in 2023, somewhere, you know, maybe by summer, um, this car is probably going to have a few more touch-ups. But from what we're looking at with all the different things, uh, I find this car to be really nice. Okay. And with the front end, where the new dual air intake ducts are, they just moved a few things around. You notice that it doesn't have front headlights in the grill, or should I say fog lights, you know, that distinctive fog lights. They're more down towards the bottom and off to the sides. So now you have these air ducts in the grill and for the dual intake for this engine. So basically, Ford basically said that they were going to build up the 5.0 and work around it as much as possible. Because let's face facts, Ford is not gonna put in a motor like we thought they would to battle against the Hellcats. They didn't do that. They did it with the GT500, but now as you see, they discontinued that 5.2. So you won't get that in another Mustang ever again, probably. We all thought, thought at one point in time that they were gonna put in the 7.3, Godzilla motor like they said they were, but they changed their minds. Now you see that Ford is gonna stick with the 5.0, but they're gonna keep building around this Coyote motor, their very own version of a Hemi. And they're gonna keep building it up and they build it up to the point now they have dual intakes, two 80 millimeter intakes. And with that, they brought out the colors of the car as you're seeing right now the different colors that you'll have available for this car. They look really nice, you know. Um, Ford's giving you all the different electronic options for the dashboard. And uh, it's going to be full computer. You're going to have a lot of things. That half bottom, that flat bottom steering wheel. Um, and they still got the Tremec six-speed transmissions. So they're not getting rid of the, the manuals yet. With the interior updated and uh, the seats updated, a lot of things. And most importantly, uh, your Brembo brake covers. You'll get to match up Brembo colors for your variant, for your car. But let's talk a little bit more about the motor. This thing is for a first time, fresh out of a Ford factory, dual intake. Now that's been around since the 60s because Dodge has had it. I know for a fact Dodge has had dual carburetors on cars, so that was dual intake and feeding the fuel to both sides of the motor. So has uh, other cars with three carburetors and different other versions of uh, muscle cars. So now here the Mustang is coming out with an updated dual intake on that pony. And the pony's got a new uh, intake with more horsepower coming out of it because of the more air and gas compression which would burn a lot, lose a lot less power. It would give way more power. And on top of that, with this unveiling, then they break out this new variant, uh, its own particular performance car called the Dark Horse, as you see the emblem right there. And this thing is gonna be a car all to itself, just like how the Bullet, the Mach 1, and the Boss series were. This is gonna be something to see how this develops later on in time. But yet, I do believe these cars are going to outsell anything else Ford has put out lately with these Mustangs. Yeah, and guess what? All the Camaro people that's losing their Camaros because GM's going to stop building them. And all the Dodge people that were having these Hellcats and whatnot because they can't get parts and the people are stealing those cars. And Dodge is just discontinuing for that Banshee with that fake exhaust sound. Watch and see how they come over and buy these Mustangs. And a lot of people are banking on that too, they work at Ford.